are looking for the driver involved in a hit and run crash in Latrobe. Yeah, they say someone driving a white Subaru SUV hit Holzer's Deli near Lincoln a Avenue and James Street yesterday and then took off. Ross Kadati is live with word on who police are trying to find and what the deli owner is saying. Ross. Yeah, you're dealing with a building hit and run here in Latrobe. And according to the owner, when it comes to damage, it's a lot more than meets the eye. Brian Holzer's family catering and deli business has been in Latrobe since about 1939, and they have had a few run ins with cars running into their shop before. It's actually, this is probably about the fourth time. But when someone drove into their building Sunday, it did some serious damage, but the driver didn't stick around. It knocked our foundation in pretty good. There's two courses of block above grade, and it um, looks like most of that is going to have to be replaced. Uh, there's a basement at that part of the building, so when you go down underneath there, um, it looks like there's some more rows of block down there that are going to need replaced as well. According to the Holzers, the family noticed the damage and asked if anybody had seen anything. The girls across the street at the Sunoco gas station, they were out uh, taking a break apparently. They heard a crash. The alleged vehicle pulled into their gas station. The driver got out, checked the damage to his vehicle, and then headed on down the road. There was no videotape to capture the suspect's car, but the witnesses did get a pretty good look at the vehicle, and they described it as a white Subaru Forester with some heavy front-end damage, possibly, decals like Med Solutions and Mobile X-Ray on it as well. Now, from the looks of it, it may seem just like a few broken bricks, but there is a lot of damage here that you can't see. It's not going to be a cheap job to fix. As for uh, catching this individual who may have hit the building, uh, according to police, they're going to be looking at other video cameras along that stretch of road and hoping that, that those cameras may have captured the vehicle as it tried to leave the scene. Reporting live, Ross Gidotti, KDK News.